Hello everyone and welcome to size reduction of powders experiment. Here you are watching the practical part. Always clean thoroughly all equipment, tools and working area before and after working. And always remember that many of these steps should be done parallel. Start with preparing the bowl mill. First, clean the housing of the mill and the grinding medium, the small and large spherical charts, bowls. Then, fill the housing with the grinding medium to its half maximum two-thirds of it the ratio of the small spheres to the large ones the small balls to the large ones should be three to one as you can see we are weighing one kilogram of course the cross this amount is being weighed into two portions each of 500 grams After doing so, place it in the milling chamber of the bowl mill. Remember, you can add the grinding medium in the specified ratio before or after adding the powder to be milled in the bowl mill milling chamber. Then, before or after the addition of sucrose, the coarse sucrose, in the milling chamber of the bowl mill. Here, we are placing the sucrose first. Then, we are adding the grinding medium in the specified ratio of the small to large bowls, 3 to 1. Now, secure the gasket and lid of the milling chamber tightly and place it on the rollers. Start the milling process. Turn the miller on 30 RPM. Commence milling and timing simultaneously. Meanwhile, prepare the sieving apparatus by cleaning sieves. Sieves are cleaned gently using a brush. And you can use a dry towel to clean the edges of the sieves. Use the available your sizes to your group. Arrange the sieves in order of aperture size with the largest pour, with the largest pour size at the top and the collecting pan, the receiver or tray at the base. The collecting pan will have hypothetically zero pour size weigh the collecting pan and each sieve alone and record the weights as tear weights tear weight represents the weight of empty clean sieve or collecting pan place the ordered sieves on the sieves shaker after 10 minutes of milling add 30 RPM, take with a draw 50 gram sample. Use a thin paper aluminum foil shaped correctly and labeled correctly to do so. 
use a spatula. You may also need to remove some balls. If you removed any ball or needed to do so, retain all balls again to the milling chamber after taking or withdrawing the sample. Now Close the milling chamber tightly and place it on the rollers and continue milling for the other scheduled times for sure with the same speed. Here we will rotate the miller for another 10 minutes so we can get the 20 minute sample. Place this sample at the top sieve of those arranged according to their pore sizes and with the lid in position clamp the sieves to the sieves shaker and agitate for 10 minutes. Operate for 10 minutes. Use the preset parameters. Keep in mind that the used sieves are analytical tools. In order to maintain sieves of good quality, they should be handled with care and removal of powder from the mesh, the sieve, should be done only by gentle brushing. After the time elapsed, stop the shaker and record the weight of the sieves each sieve separately and the collecting pan with the powder retained on each as gross weight. Gross weight represents the weight of each sieve or collecting pan with the powder retained. Now, discard the powders and clean the sieves using a brush, gentle brushing, then rearrange the sieves with the same order, previous order, and be ready for the next sample. While waiting for the 20 minute sample, you can weigh the unmelt sample zero time sample and do the same particle size analysis for it and also repeat the same procedure particle size analysis for 20 minute sample 10 minutes after the 10 minute sample 30 minute sample 10 minutes after the 20 minute sample and for 40 minute sample 10 minutes after the 30 minute sample. Special thanks to Mr. Amid Tahir, the lab technician, and thank you all.